I don't I have the sentence to it before or the data before and I just use those. Did I find them? Yeah, and here in K cash print you get a, a complete uh, list of all the functions that are great with uh, basically the same information, the total amount of time spent in this <coughs> function. Um, that's the window thread, so it actually the thread entry and the VLUPA, the, the VLUPA function uh, are 100% because there the thread starts and spends all its time there. Um, but you also see uh, you can also drill down to the to the functions that were actually um, uh, executed. And so we can, can look what, what the most time consuming stuff was. Okay, uh, I should mention that you see a list of callers of the of the selected functions. And the task loop of the function called this team window dispatch message. And here you see the callies, so this is the function that are called by this function, and here you see Ninety-seven uh, percent is also a dispatch message. And dispatch message called uh, some outline view mouse something. And I will just drill down. Uh, I found something interesting. Is a, a table a table view that that Debug uh, uses. Set trace view in debugger, team window stack trace, team window set actual stack trace, that is what we do. Um, set active function, set active image. Uh, and, and here it starts to get higher interesting. And we see that it uh, takes a lot of time and resize our columns. So this resizing the, the columns um, of the um, of the column uh, list with uh, the table view that's shown. And I can drill it down further until the interesting stuff happens. And here we see um, that the column is asked for its preferred size. Um, it's all completed. We can get column preferred width. <coughs> and we drill it down further. And here we can see the things that are actually happening. If the uh, e font string width is called for uh, 37 uh, percent, and the other function is called that was also e font string width, and apparently that's what happens. It tries to compute the uh, when the new stack trace is set, it also sets the new image uh, for the for the image view that is um, that is shown. Maybe show it again. Yeah, the things are happening. The images view, and here we have a uh, scale in this queue that lists all functions for this image. And, uh, in some cases, there there are a lot of functions in this this view. And, and what this uh, what the code does is uh, try to make the column as wide uh, uh, as fit all all um, function names in there. And that's what's happening. It's iterating through all all the functions and asking the with the strings that are displayed, and this is obviously, obviously taking a lot, lot of time, so um, debugger should do it. At least not if it uh, intends to uh, keep the interface responsive. But uh, in this case, I just wanted to showcase this a little bit. Uh, you can pretty nicely drill down into the function, see what is calling what, what is taking a lot of time, and get the connections so you understand what's happening. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it for profiling, and now the last of the uh, tools I <coughs> talk about is uh, scheduling debugging, it's a feature I'm mostly interested in. Uh, may not be something interesting for you yet. <laughs> uh, it's a feature I implemented to optimize high code itself. Um, I think four or five years ago I had a little run of a month or two 
to optimize the uh, IQ itself. Mm. The things, mostly things in the kernel that took a lot of time and, and uh, we wanted to cover the time. And um, a lot of this, this time is, uh, was, was spent in uh, with the lock contention of uh, the contention of certain locks in the kernel. And you have main threads and you actually want to get things done, but one thread is hogging the lock and the others can't really do, uh, do the things that they want. And one of the things uh, that is possible with uh, the scheduling debugging is to analyze locks, or that, or that's really the main thing that it does. And, uh, the mechanism is that, that you have one uh, program scheduling recorder that records all the scheduling information, uh, stores it in a source in a file, and debug analyzer, uh, analyzer, graphical tool, then processes this um, this data and, and presents it in a helpful way. Uh, yeah. The process uh, works like this: uh, scheduling recorder um, um, provides a buffer to the to the kernel, where the system profiler interface um, uh, listens to several events, the scheduler as held, and thread creation, the termination, team creation, team termination, and uh, um, the creation and termination, uh, the creation and deletion of images, so it listens to all these events, and writes those back to the buffer, just in real time, now that it's still, and when it is fully enough, the uh, scheduling recorder writes it back to the file, and, this repeats uh, pretty often because well, there's a lot of scheduling data um, <coughs> coming in. And I can, can I ask a question? Is this included in, any, in, in every kind of kernel or do we have to enable that uh, compile time? This features, uh, all the features I uh, presented so far are in the, in the, in the, in the, in the always enabled. I will just uh, try the same I did here um, the profile of the scheduling recorder. Um, and record exactly this uh, long time switching um, uh, switching between the between the stack traces and see what, what we can see in, in debugging further. It's not really a useful thing because we know what happens and it's not really a lock intention or a problem or something of that kind. So you won't really see interesting data, but I don't have the interesting data at the moment. Um, so we have to do that. Uh, um, yeah, scheduling recorder really it doesn't have much parameters. I think just um,
Yeah, that's it basically. And you get a complete list of, of the teams with their creation and deletion time. Uh, here now, um, uh, no new teams were created or deleted uh, in this time frame, so you don't get any times here. Uh, you get the same for threads, and here it becomes more interesting. Uh, creation, deletion, nothing was created or deleted, I think. Um, you get the number of times they, they were ran. Uh, they were scheduled, actually. Their total runtime. Um, the latencies. Yes, um, the time the, the threads became ready, that is, wanted to do something, but um, had to wait before they actually were the scheduled. So you see, for this thread, it was compared um, to the, but for this thread, it's 0.17 seconds in total um, latency. Uh, no, one time. This latency latencies. <coughs> Oh, you, you get like two seconds late in latency. That's interesting. Let's see what we can do. Even more here. Oh. The page scrubbers tried had to wait a lot, lot of time before it, uh, it ran. The page scrubbers, uh, some kernel thread that cleans uh, pages that aren't no longer used. And so it has a very low priority, I think. Priority is from B2 somewhere? Uh, no, it is not. But it has a very low priority, so it really runs only when it's bit, uh, and no one, not, nothing else runs. So it's totally understandable that it's with high latency times. Um, and you get a, uh, get a count of the preemptions. That is, um, when the thread runs, wants to continue to run, but another thread wants to run through and is sketched instead, for instance. If this other set with the higher priority is almost certainly we uh, it almost certainly preempts it or reduces the uh, uh, And this is a time that uh, preempted that had, had, had to wait for a uh, book before it could run could run again. And then there's also the wait uh, number of um, times the thread waited just uh, on purpose, like uh, it slept uh, for real. <laughs> Um, or waited on a semaphore and you know, for the semaphore to come ready or some other lock or uh, some condition or a port or something like this. Or so this that I waited 160 times and that's a total wait time. That's always 16 seconds. Um, there's also unspecified time, which is good that it isn't listed uh, here because it is usually. Indicating a bug if you in the in the data for some some data that wasn't really uh, uh, prepared for. And there's also I own time. Didn't know I, I implemented this. This is I think the, the time that is that uh, waiting for I O. And this for disk uh, reading, writing or reading from this. Yeah, and then you can...